Getting a voter initiative on the ballot in Idaho, well, it can be pretty tough. You need thousands and thousands of signatures from across the state. You may remember during the Medicaid expansion campaign, volunteers were out and about trying to get people, Idahoans, to sign their petition. What happens, though, when there's a pandemic and you can't go out and about and get people to sign your petition to safely gather these signatures? Reclaim Idaho, the grassroots political group that ran the successful Medicaid petition campaign, they took notice. They found electronic signature gathering isn't, al isn't allowed, so there really aren't many other options. And because of that, they're taking the governor to court, as Joe Paris explains. We had built a great deal of momentum in the months leading up to the pandemic, Reclaim Idaho is hard at work on a statewide petition campaign asking voters to put a measure on the fall ballot to invest more in Idaho education. Modest tax increases on corporations and the wealthiest Idahoans. In early March, though, the spread of coronavirus started to provide big challenges for the signature gathering campaign. We started getting a flood of messages from volunteers saying, you know, it's really tragic, but I don't think I can keep collecting signatures under these conditions. Reclaim Idaho co-founder Luke Mayville says they tried to get creative, but quickly found that signature gathering during a pandemic was simply impractical. That fact was frustrating because of how well their campaign was doing. We had actually collected as many signatures by early March for our education campaign as we had for our Medicaid expansion campaign. We actually collected more signatures for the for the education campaign by that date. So they went to Governor Brad Little to ask if he could act to allow electronic signature gathering. Unfortunately, the governor um, wasn't willing to uh, take action. So Reclaim Idaho decided to take the issue to a courtroom, suing Governor Little and Secretary of State Lawrence Denny. Now they have an expedited court date next Tuesday. The state of Idaho ought to provide a safe way for us to collect signatures. Reclaim Idaho says they have that answer. They want to use the service DocuSign to continue their campaign online. Many state governments, North Carolina, Nevada, California, Washington State, all use DocuSign in, in various ways to collect authentic signatures. Mayville says if they're allowed to get electronic signatures, they're not concerned about fraud. We're very confident that the kinds of signatures that we would collect through this online platform would be every bit as authentic and possibly even more authentic. An Idaho statute may help their case. This portion of Idaho statute titled Uniform Electronic Transactions Act was passed in the early 2000s to legally recognize electronic signatures and documents. A portion of the act says, if a law requires a signature, an electronic signature satisfies the law. Mayville says with that in mind, though, they're not trying to change the system permanently. We, we think that it's perfectly reasonable to revert back to traditional paper signatures once the pandemic has receded. And another uh, aim of the lawsuit is actually to get some more time for the petition signatures to be gathered. That if, of course, the, the court will rule that electronic signature gathering would be allowed. This is because, though, they want more time. 48 days before the deadline, that's when the stay home orders, that's when really people were really in Idaho not able to go out and about anymore. That's when the state clamped down. So Luke Mayville telling me earlier today, Brian, he really wants to get that 48 days back. The whole campaign does so that they could actually go out and keep going. I reached out to the governor's office for comments on the lawsuit, the pending suit. I have not heard back yet. Okay, so it seems like, though, if, if signatures would be allowed for, say, mortgages and other things like that, it might be able to get through, especially with this expedited court case. But does that add another layer of verifying these signatures, the fact that they're electronic? Yeah, that's one thing that would have to be figured out. Um, you heard Luke talk about DocuSign. It's something that's used in other states. Uh, Luke and I were talking um, before off, off camera about how that process works. Now, for everyone to come to the table and make an agreement, that's going to take some time if it got that far. But yeah, Brian, it's definitely something they're thinking of. All right, still a lot of layers on that one, too, and we'll keep an eye on that as it progresses. Thanks, Joe.